In our tradition of awarding the person of the year, SK Newsline has always chosen an individual for this recognition, except in 2022 when we recognized St. Kitts and Nevis robotics team as the people of the year. We examined the impact of persons over the past year to give the 2023 recognition, and again felt led to go in the direction of awarding a group of people, as we did in 2022. That recognition goes to the St. Kitts and Nevis senior men's football national team, affectionately called the Sugar Boys. The Sugar Boys accomplished an amazing feat in 2023 that was talked about in the sports world in North America and the Caribbean for several weeks, qualifying for the first time in their history for the CONCACAF Gold Cup. The Gold Cup is a major football tournament for countries in North and Central America and the Caribbean. It is difficult to make the cut, and St. Kitts and Nevis tried for several years to qualify for the competition. On several occasions, the Sugar Boys came close to qualifying, one win or a draw away to make the tournament the last time in 2019, but just barely missing out. This time, with an all-local coaching staff headed by former player Austin Deco Huggins and assistant coach George Yellowman Isaac, who too was a former player, along with a combination of overseas and local-based players, the Sugar Boys drafted a plan to make the coveted tournament. And with wins over Curacao and Friends St. Martin in the prelims, both teams ranked higher than St. Kitts and Nevis at the time, the Sugar Boys did the unthinkable. The significance of their accomplishment was made known by President of the St. Kitts and Nevis Football Association, the SKNFA, Atiba Harris, in a passionate impromptu speech to the players after they qualified on the field of play at the Drive Pink Stadium in Fort Lauderdale. You know, but guess what? It just united the whole country, the whole country now. People home playing, people home in disbelief, you know, the love, the passion, you left it out on the field. I tell I I tell you now this, even if we had lost on the penalty kick, I would have been for the hard hour. Yes, facts. All are you. We left it out. Everything new. Every single thing. Coach Austin Deco Huggins, who, as a player, came close to qualifying for the tournament, shared the sheer joy of qualifying and what it means to the Federation. In a party mode right now, it's, it's, it's um, a wonderful feeling. It's good to hear the guys outside. It's going to be party all night. We are happy to be here. This is a momentous occasion for the Federation. I'm so happy I'm last four words. I don't know how to express myself right now. But we want to say thanks for all who supported the team. The moment felt like a country gaining independence and galvanized fans and nationals at home and abroad. It was a fitting present for the country as the nation celebrated 40 years of independence. For a moment, in the summer of 2023, St. Kitts and Nevis Nationals were brought together to celebrate a historic moment, forgetting one's political beliefs and opinions that divide. For that moment, it was about being proud to be a Kittitian and a Nivision. For this reason, SKN Newsline selects the Sugar Boys as the 2023 People of the Year.